Ilukbeju area of Lagos is where the first civilian governor of Lagos State, Latif Jakonde, spent his entire life. The area is a beehive of activities as family, friends, dignitaries, including the state deputy governor, former governor of Ogun State, and many others are here to pay their last respect. A special prayer session is holding in honor of the late Al Haji Latif Jakonde. <laughs> to control the crowd here but for those who cannot make their way into the premises a viewing screen is made available even though he died at an old age his children say their father's death was unexpected as they were gearing up for his 92nd birthday at 91 we didn't have any plans where what to do where to bury him absolutely nothing it wasn't expected at all it's been wonderful. It has taught us to be contented, and um, you know, it takes it takes care of us. Some of the dignitaries here speak on the legacies of the former governor. As a human being, you can't be totally positive, but all we saw was the positive part of him—a great man that served his people when they had the opportunity, that cared for people. He was a fantastic journalist. What he did as governor is still a movement, and generations upon generations will come and emulate it. So we pray for our journal with that for him. We pray the Almighty Allah forgives his sins. Even those who served the state about 40 years ago with the late Jakonde explained the role he played in developing Lagos. They had the interest of the masses in his heart all the time. Was to make sure that the housing scheme were built, which was then sold for about 18 million, 18,000. We sold it for 6,000 for six bedrooms and 5,000 for three, uh, two bedrooms. His administration as a governor is still a reference point in the country in terms of massive infrastructural development and provision of affordable housing and huge investment in education across the state. He also initiated the rail network meant to traverse the metropolis on the red and blue lines.